Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 at Michigan Farms. I'm Tenacious Viking, your farmer and host of Bolts. See what's going out on the farm. Oh, there goes the train. Bye train. Haven't used the train for a while. We got some soybeans to sell and I should be transporting some of that to the uh, to the elevator there for uh, for sale because we could use a little extra money and we'll get to that maybe, if I remember. Ah, still plowing this, and half of it's coming up as we plow, as we plant or plant it. I said plow, plant. The other the other PL word. Maybe I should slow things down a bit. Nah, who cares? It's the last field. Uh oh, that's right. Okay, we're just finishing windrowing, so we can start to collect some grass and get the old. What is it? Hay silage maker going again. Don't know if we need anything here. I think we have all the plants. All the plants have enough raw materials at the moment. Yeah, I think we're good. Don't need that right now. We ain't doing nothing. <laughs> um, just filled up the, the barn with stuff, I think. This... Um, yeah, I'm going to wait a little while to start the fertilizer spread off. So let's see what we've got going on at the barn. We've got 59,137 food. Ooh, we got a bunch of milk there. All right, good, good. Slurry, we have, uh, we're maxed out at slurry. I need to start using that. That's that's what I need the money for, is to buy a slurry spreader and a tractor to pull it. And that's going to cost a lot of money, about 600000 at least, if I recall correctly. We have a little bit of hay left. We got some silage, a little bit of straw, and some mineral feed, so we're okay there, I think. I think. Milk. We want to grab some milk. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, yeah. Good. I don't know who needs it, but you know, you got to have it aboard just in case. Uh, we, we need to sell some cattle. Uh, I'm going to try to get to that today. We'll see. Uh, we need to wash this bad boy, put it away. We don't, I don't think we need any water yet. Okay, we're back to the beginning. So, um, yeah, we gotta do the, the, the cattle sale thing because, oh, he's done. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> About tipping that thing. That is a good looking field of windrowed grass. I like not having to go and tetter and then, because you never, you have know, more grass or more hay, what do I need? <sighs> Such a crapshoot. Okay, what barn does this stuff go in? Oh, I think I know. We'll see if I'm right. <clears throat> Pretty sure we go right in here. Where the mower is, yes. No, yes. Wait, I only see one piece of the lo of the mower. What happened to? Oh, there! Wow, that's way off. I I just you know did a, a U, um, and I thought it was closer than that, but it's not. Okay, my bad. Uh, beans. I'm gonna start hauling some beans. Uh, well, let me check prices first. Let's see. Beep, beep. Thaw beans. Thirty-seven eighty-six. Oh my lord! Let's do that. And let's freaking slow down some time. <clears throat> so it looks like it's going to be a beans and cattle day. Uh, either way, I'm going to have money rolling in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. How much beans do I have anyway? No idea. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, I can do 153 loads. Yes. So, wait. It takes a little while to fill, doesn't it? And go. Put the cover the tarp on. Don't you know? How much traffic is going to be here? Well, I got out there first. And nobody's coming there, yay. 
if I can take this without going in the ditch or spilling. <laughs> that all seems a that all seems a little loud. Sell soybeans and sell cattle. The, the reason I want to sell more cattle is because we're still going through feed pretty quickly. And I'm not sure I can keep up. That was not a very pretty turn, was it? I'm not, not doing very well. So I really, you know, kind of want to get uh, the slurry used and get get uh, f feed production for the cattle stabilized. I got a couple things I want to try with selling stuff yet. Uh, I want to try vending machine, and I want to try. Uh, well, I want to give that stupid farmer's market I planted another chance, bringing just the things that I that it says it will buy, and see if that works. If not, uh, I'm done with it. You know, I mean, I am. That is really strobalistic, isn't there? Strobalicious in there. I don't think I have anything else stored here, do I? I hope not. I didn't. I don't. Don't even know how to check because it all shows up as one thing. I don't think it distinguishes. Well, maybe it would show. Hmm. Not sure. Ooh. Oops, sorry. Bumped the mic. It's an amateur mistake. I uh, didn't expect to see a car there. I hadn't seen one anywhere. <sighs> Whoops. Try not to wander into the other lane. See, I stopped properly and everything. I'm trying to be good. It's just... I really like Michigan farms, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm kind of reluctant to leave it, but... Honestly, it's time to gear up for Farming Simulator 25, isn't it? My intent... is to plant rice. stuff. I pro probably do a kind of a cheater game with enough money to get all the stuff I need for rice right away. Depending on how much it's going to cost, I guess. So I'll cheat if I have to, but I want to want to plant rice and harvest it and once and get that experience. And I bet it won't pay worth a hoot either. That's my big problem with this game. Which honestly parallels the problem with farming in this country, and I think kind of worldwide. Farmers do not get paid enough to make money. They barely get paid enough to plant again next year, and that's not right. That's why I think farmers are going to be getting more into the production end. Now I just read, well this, this will tie to, far, this ties farming and airport madness together, okay. <laughs> Minneapolis airport just uh, sent a plane off with a, with a, a new uh, environmentally sounder um, fuel 
uh, it's from a plant called I think it's Pimenica or something like that. It's uh, it, it, Minnesota farmers grew 2,000 acres and they made it into this fuel and the plane works. Um, it's good because it's uh, renewable. Um, you know whether it's economically feasible that whole thing remains to be seen but the fact that a plane works on it is a good sign so so there going to focus on this for now because we have a really good price and I want to get it sold before the price drops precipitously which it tends to do especially when I'm loading up an elevator with a crop and go oh there's a there's a surplus of soybeans we're gonna lower the price which is kind of how the world works fortunately back in the day I'm not sure what years it was dairy farmers dumped milk in the ground because they were being paid so f poorly for it and I think if I recall correctly the net result was that the government started buying up milk to keep the price up at a decent level and then the milk was uh, was processed and, and made available to schools to serve with lunches One of several ways farmers are, yes, subsidized. Now, you may not like sub subsidized uh, government subsidies, but, you know, corporations are subsidized, the oil industry is subsidized, a lot of industries are subsidized. Farming deserves to be subsidized because you can't control the weather. It's completely out of the farmer's hand, whether they're going to have a decent crop or not. And if they don't make enough to pay off their debts and, you know, feed their family, their own family, um, they're not going to do it anymore. They're just not. And that's what's happening. Uh, family farmers are getting out of the business. Corporate farmers are taking over. When there's enough corporate farmers, they will determine the price. Okay. Mark my words. But I like, you know, I like the trend of, you know, using um, corn for ethanol, to make ethanol. Um, this new crop, p pimentica or whatever it is, um, to uh, create a, 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 a more a, a environmentally conscious uh, plain fuel. Um, those are all things that help farmers make a living, which helps them grow uh, more food for you and no they're not going to turn over their entire production to uh, to you know corn and this other thing um, they're going to be Oh, that's the crop is that. I forgot what I planted there. Probably soybeans, huh? They're ripe already. Hmm. As I've said, a lot of farmers bought into ethanol plants so that they had a guaranteed um, market for the corn they raised at a hopefully higher price than it would have been, although I'm not sure that that worked out. Whoa.
Okay, I'm gonna go get a train and sell that stuff before the price drops precipitously. Okay, and then we're gonna sell some cattle. We have so much money. I forgot what it said we were gonna make here. Uh, somewhere around six hundred thousand dollars, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, typically, I do this so I can see if the train is coming. Here it comes. Coming right down here. Just stand back here in case the train derails, you know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, here's where I have to double check. N and Z. Okay. N. Z. Didn't have to go back that far. R. Is there anything else here? Nope. Okay. Sweet. French fries, carrots, pin potatoes, noodles. Hey, I should sell my stupid strawberry ice cream here at least I'll take it where are they we are okay I th think each car only holds a hundred thousand so I'm gonna have to back up and pick up the rest <coughs> You'd be only 90. Yep, 90. Okay, back up. There, back up the other car. 59,999. So 100, about 150,000 liters of. And soybeans that should be good for a great payday. Oh, 150,000 even. Oh, that's right. All right, let's do it. Let's go sell this stuff. I'm just going to stand on this uh, box car here. <laughs> Get dumped off into the void. Honking in case a boat's coming by. I'm, I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'll, I'll, this works out great to have this on the edge of the map like this, but I'm kind of sad that there's no road that crosses it. So I can use the horn. You know, if they're going to put water like this on the map, they should do something to use it. I guess they do have some duckies floating by or something near Field 8, but... Well. Is there a place? I wonder if that's a place to... No, there's no place to, to dump wood on the train here, is there? I don't think. Unless you do it at the same spot. And dump. Uh oh. That kicked me off the train. Five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. That's enough to do some damage. So my time is up for this episode. Um just gonna walk along the tracks here and hope I don't get run over by the next train. I think if you stay on the tracks, <laughs> I don't know what I don't remember what happens. I think you used to get dumped but I'm not sure so uh, next time I'm gonna sell some cattle and then I'm gonna buy um, 
the slurry spreader and the tractor. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to and hopefully try get around to trying the vending machine. I don't know how much that's going to take, but um, one probably two more episodes, and then I think I'll have done everything I wanted to do with the production DLC. I'm pretty disappointed in it at this point uh because you don't really need it to do you know i mean the, the buildings that you you can put in are worthless uh oh i might have to go swimming well i guess i have to go up on the railroad bridge huh oh hope i don't fall through okay i didn't so thank you so much for watching join me again for more farming simulator 22 at michigan farms welcome new subscribers be kind and let's get together again